so on this um, video I'm going to show you how to install Windows 11 on a PC with the legacy BIOS which does not meet the minimum requirement to run Windows 11. On this specific PC um, I have already ran Windows 11 using uh, a USB um, flash drive in which Windows 11 was installed and it worked perfectly so uh, let's see how we are going to install this uh, um, on a PC which says uh, it doesn't currently meet the minimum requirement so on those PC that um, you cannot install Windows 11 due to uh, not having uh, TPM or secure boot uh, Microsoft have suggested that you can edit the registry so let's see what uh, what Microsoft have suggested I have already done that so type in reg edit enter and you get into the registry and just be careful when you go into the registry so you should always export it uh, to a file um, so that you know you, you back up your registry so and if something happened you can always import it back so the changes were right here in uh, hotkey local machine into system and into setup and I have already created this key called MO setup. In there, I have created two values one to bypass secure boot, value one, and one to bypass uh, TPM, value one. So let's see um, by doing that, uh, am I successful in installing Windows 11? All right, so let's see that. All right, so we click on setup. And just check that, next. So I get this message. The processor isn't supported for this version. All right, so it did not work. Okay, all right, close that. We'll try another method. And I saw in the internet uh, another suggestion. Suggestion was to have uh, Windows 10 ISO uh, flash drive available and transfer uh, one of the file from uh, window 10 into window 11 um, ISO flash drive so let's take a look um, all right, so we have um, window 10 open it up and then also open up uh, window 11 okay so suggestion was to have um, this file so then it was to transfer this file into window 11 so what I'll do uh, instead of uh, I'll just back up that file uh, rename and then transfer this file okay let's take a look now we're going to start all right so let's try to 
setup window again and see what happens. Alright, so once again, uh, it would not do it. Alright, so, alright, uh, we're gonna try a final method. Alright, if nothing works, so we're gonna try this final method. Okay, so <coughs> I already have um, Windows 10 ISO file and Windows 11 ISO file. Yeah, we do need window 10 ISO file. So let's get to window 11. Okay. All right. Okay, right click on window 11 ISO file. And left click on mount. So we have window 11 mounted on the right side. And, uh, open window 10. Uh, right click on window 10 and so now we have both folders. So um, we have on the left side window 10 and right side window 11. On a desktop or anywhere you can just create a folder called Windows 10 ISO and make another one. So now, um, like I said, we have window 10 on the left side and window 11 on the right side. Okay, so what we are going to do, we are going to select all. This is window 10. Drag it over here and copy here. Select all and drag everything here and copy into window 11 ISO folder. Okay, so close this here, close this here, go back to our my PC and eject these mounted drives. Okay, now open window 11 folder, take it to the right and open window 10 ISO folder, make it to the left. Now what we're going to do, we're going to open the sources folder on both of them. Okay. And 
from window 11 go all the way to where it says install WIM file okay and drag it to window 10 and copy here and say replace the destination file and it's going to replace that WIM file what it's going to do uh, we are going to use a setup from window 10 file but using window 11 installation file so it will bypass the requirement needed to install window 11 so let's take a look okay close window 11 folder set up okay all right we're gonna click on this change how we'll just say not right now next saying window 10 but you'll see soon there will be a window 11 setup install window 11 key personal file and apps and install so it's installing all right so this is going to continue with the process and at least this way i will be able to install window 11 on this legacy bios uh, computer okay Alright, so window 11 is installed on this computer uh, wow and um, to my surprise um, it's running uh, way faster than window 10 uh, and the programs open opening uh, real fast um, as you could see um, and uh, there were no issue at all during the installation and uh, even the browser browser open instantly okay and if you look at the uh, device manager um, there were no issues uh, all devices were installed perfectly and it booted within 30 seconds way faster than Windows 10 and this is the computer which uh, has no TPM no secure boot legacy BIOS and the CPU is not compatible and yet I was able to install Windows 11 on it um, there's a word of caution though um, for all those people uh, who are not uh, tech savvy uh, not to do that but because Microsoft has suggested that the system is not compatible but all those people who are IT savvy and are curious that how Windows 11 will run on their system go ahead and try that now uh, just remember curiosity killed the cat so uh, just just be careful um, always back up back up your window 10 you know what I have done I have not only backed up the window 10 I have restored it on a separate hard drive in case along the road something happened I can uh, just restore it back to window 10 uh, but I don't think I'm going to do that because I have no issue at all all right well, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you liked it and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.